so we're making jollof so you know you got the tomato paste you got the scotch barnet and your garlic ginger corn tomatoes sweet pea plantain it's all very famous in uh, West Africa. There is like a lot of like gathering and celebration around jollof back home. So it over time became something that was celebrated in like a uh, special occasion. You know, a birthday, Christmas, it gets made. And since I've been working at Aga Khan Museum, you know, it's, it has allowed me to be creative uh, with the food. Now it's giving me an opportunity to do a West African food. And it reminds me, like my mom used to make this typical dish, we call it uh, Tumis Nasi. And she's like stir fry the rice, toasted and butter, chili, and it's really good. And then the way the chicken cooks with curry powder and all that, and then the chilies. Plantain is very popular. We use a lot of plantain and we make plantain curries and stuff. So this actually brings all the childhood memories while I'm cooking because I enjoy it. We would typically have jollof with um, shito. And shito is a type of pepper sauce. Um, and there's two types. There was the chital that has the tomato base, and then there's the chital that has like a shrimp base, and they're both super hot and super delicious, and it was always a staple whenever we were eating anything from Nkatsenkwan to uh, jollof rice. I think that not only with visual art, but with food, there's stories that are often like told. And with my exhibit, uh, it's really about that kind of cross-cultural experience that happened so long ago. I think it's really great that you're making jollof and I think it will add to the experience of people coming into the museum to learn more about medieval Africa and through that experience they're also going to be able to taste the history. Jollof rice.